guys, I'm here today with a live reaction to Vinland Saga, episode 15, guys, let's jump right into this, man. Ah, man. Oh, now, from what I remember from, wait, what do I remember from last episode? Oh, man, I remember this BS, yo. I remember they attacked the poor village, yo. Ah, man, and then Annie, I think her name was Annie. I mean, I don't know. No, actually, I do know. He's alive. Look at his body. Look at those wounds and whatnot. Marlboro. Isn't that like a cigarette? I think that's like a cigarette brand. Not that I smoke. I, I think I just seen that brand around. What? Bro, this dude. Harold. Now we see he has a brother, but... Did they mention his brother before? I do not remember. I feel like this is the first time I've heard of his brother. But then again, you know, maybe they have. Harold. Maybe the brother died? I don't know. Ah, uh, man, I have this weird thought in my head, right? Like, nah, uh, it's just so weird. It, like, imagine someone, like, tugging your spine from your back. I know, guys, you're like, what the hell, why are you thinking of that? But I don't know, because I just saw the way the king's body was, and he has all these cuts, and you can see his spine. So, uh, like, just pulling it out. Sheesh. All right, let me stop. Let me take that image out of your head. I'm sorry, guys. Ah, uh, man. Will you just see all this stuff? <laughs> this is going to be a good, like, second half of this season. I can tell. Like, I'm going to love this. I feel like everything... First season was amazing, but I feel like this one... I mean, I'm saying first season like it's not still the first season, but I mean the second, because this is basically like the second part, you know what I mean? Because the first season, the first part, we got that. Now, once the anime reaches like episode 12 or 13, that's usually when the second part starts. And I feel like this, there's going to be a lot of action going on, you know what I mean? A lot of really interesting development going on and whatnot. Uh man. <laughs> <laughs> At first I was looking, I was like, whose hand is that? Then I added it up. Thorkel, duh. Yeah, that looks... That looks kinda juicy. <laughs> That is true. <laughs> He's like, damn it. But are they giving you guys money or no? Like, are they like paying them for this stuff or like...
true. Look at those guys in the back, like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that would been a good time. <laughs> yeah, everyone hates losing. I'm surprised that chair doesn't break with Thorkel on it like that. No. Oh, is she coming to tell? Is it, um... I feel like that dude came in to tell them about the attack that came to place here. I mean, bro, you're not sad of what you guys did, bro? Like, what are you talking, dude? You guys killed a whole entire village of innocent people, kids. For what? Yo. He's asking the questions. Damn, canoe is not canoe is like, bro. I'm religious. Like, let's see, let's see what canoe gonna say. I mean, can you? Canoe, I get it. I think Kanut's kind of going through it right now with his own father. He's like, is he going to come get me? And maybe he's projecting. Maybe I took it too far and that's not what's happening at all. But I can't really blame the priest guy. Look, it's like you see everything happening. It's like, can you blame him for kind of questioning? Like, what? Because all these innocent people got killed. And it's like... Yes! Yo, she came through and said it! <laughs> this is gonna be active, yo! Yo, I can-
Yes! <laughs> Dorfman and Canute! Yeah, give us more beer. Yeah. <laughs> they was thinking like, oh, they're gone. We don't have to worry about the food. How do they have that much food, though? This is going to be awesome. I think we're not going to get anything too crazy, though, until, like, the end of this episode. Then we're going to see people coming in. Yeah, he gotta work fast, bro. Uh, I'm trying to remember. What did you guys discuss? Bro, that's what... <laughs> they're coming heavy. Yeah, now they're starting to lose fate in Ashalad too. You see that? Look, he got salad, bro. Let's eat together. Bro, <laughs> don't even share. Come on, Thorfinn. Come. Bro. <laughs> this looks good, man. Eat Dorfin? At least, you know, Canoe is talking more, right? Uh-huh. Oh. He's probably gonna hit him. Oh. Oh, I mean, not hit him, but you know, Gary, he's mad, obviously. Cooking for yourself, man? I do that every day, dude. <laughs>
No, he won't, bro. If he... No! I'd say duck. Look, Thorfinn is so fast, bro. Bro, ten days is a lot. Not everyone. Don't. No, no, they're setting him up, dude. Bro, he don't go. They about to kill him. They're gonna kill him. He, he should have just stayed with Canoe and Thorfinn, bro. Think. He can kind of fight though, so. Ah! Wow. You see, he shouldn't have went with them, yo. I had a feeling he was gonna die. Look at them, bro. Yeah, he's done. At least go out with a bang. He's done. At least take some down with you. I wonder what he has to say. Look, Ashalot's here. Yeah, he's gonna die. There's no way he can escape this, especially to Ashalot, everyone's here. Ah, uh, this is gonna hit, bro, because it's like. They always do some snake shit like this, bro. <laughs> Oh man. Canute, you don't even know. He should have just stayed, ate his food, and never come. But the thing is, they know this guy so much, he always wants to nag and go somewhere and talk and argue, you know? You know what's so crazy about this? I feel like if Thorfinn finds out what they did, 
He's gonna have a connection with Canute here because these people kill loved ones of individuals and take them in. You know what I mean? I'll be, I feel like that if Thorfinn finds this out, it's gonna change things. And the other one picked, yeah, Halder, what's his name? Harold, yeah. Damn, you have to kill them? What? You don't have to kill them? One can still live and the other one just rule, bro. Interesting. This is so... I love this. Ah oh, man, are they gonna end the episode? Cause this feels like, bro, it feels like it's only been five minutes, but I feel like the episode's gonna end. He can't. Yeah, he can't, bro. Damn, I hate them for this. They always do some bull, man. Ah, I hate them. Oh, man, I knew they were gonna kill him, dude. You know what's crazy? When I was watching the opening, and when you see the moment where. Wrangler is there, then he disappears. I was like, huh, is he gonna die? Like, that's when I started thinking, I was like, is he gonna die? I didn't think it was this episode, though, but a lot of people disappear. Like, with the snow effect, like, they disappear with the snow or something like that. Yo, they better hope Thorfinn doesn't find out about this. I hope Thorfinn like, acts the way I want him to when he finds out. Because, you know, imagine me saying all this big talk, like, nah, Thorfinn wouldn't, uh, you know, abide by this. As soon as he finds out, it's over. And all of this, and then Thorfinn finds out, he doesn't even care. He's like, whatever, dude. But you see, the thing is, it wouldn't make sense for Thorfinn not to care. Due to the fact that these people are the same people who killed his father. These people kill loved ones of individuals. That's like a big thing. They kill your loved ones. You know what I mean? And I feel like that might trigger something in Thorfinn. All right. For example, you see now, Thorfinn hasn't been challenging Ashelon. He hasn't challenged him in a while, at least, from what I've seen. So maybe if Thorfinn finds this out, he's gonna be like, Yo, nah, I'm back to my challenges. I wanna fight you again, you know what I mean? And that's kinda how I'm looking at it. Like, it'll be like, we're fighting again. Nah, I can't forgive you. So this is very interesting, and I love how they added the brother. Cause I feel like this is the first time I heard of the brother. And because you see, it is definitely the first time, because if you remember correctly, too, how Rengar told us about everything, there's two fractions. Heralds and Canutes. And these guys, they don't care about what either prince thinks. They just want whoever they're against, like whoever they're riding for to win. And that's so interesting. And the fact that the father will have to kill one of the princes, and he feels that Canute was brought into the battlefield because of that and because he didn't want like the king of Swain didn't want Denmark to split but the thing is is it me or do you feel like the king kind of has like oh oh like he doesn't I don't know I, I don't feel like 
I believe it though necessarily due to the fact that I feel like the king ha acts a certain way around Canute that's like it's not that type of way you know what I mean like he cares for him at least that's what I'm seeing or at least that's what I think it's like a sense of oh I care for you and I won't do that but then again I could be wrong and he this was like the plan all along but very interesting I'm loving how everything's correlating Thorkel is on the way bro it is about to be hell all right that was corny but you know what thank you so much for watching guys if you made it to the end you are amazing yo peace before ending this video I want to give a big thanks to my patreon supporters Beiru, Tim Kane, Teddy Vinning, Sienna Cujo, and Alex Borisov thank you so much for your continuous support and I'm grateful to you all